In today's video, we're going to be showing you an awesome hack on how to braise copper pipes. Many of you have probably found yourself in that awkward situation where you're sideways, upside down, trying to braise a joint, the unit's close to the house, and it's just not ideal. That's one situation in which these are going to be amazing. Another situation is, say you're a homeowner, you are not proficient at brazing, you don't have a desire to become proficient at brazing, but you do want to have a brazed joint for your HVAC system that you're putting in, and this is an awesome tool for that. Let's get into this and we'll show you what we're talking about. So these are what we're gonna be showing you how to use today. These are Silphos rings. They're 15% silver, perfect for brazing joints when you don't know exactly how to braze. Or even if you do know how to braze and you just want an easier method um, to doing this, these are pretty stinking amazing. So this is a finished joint using our Silphos rings. We did not use a rod on this and we're gonna show you how to do it on this joint as well. Now this is uh, using a fitting. As you can see, there's no gaps or anything. Now there's a big advantage to using fittings when you're using these rings, but if you do want to use a swaging tool, uh, this one's busted, but um, this will actually ream out a pipe to the proper size. But as you can see, sometimes it'll get kind of deformed like that and it will make it to where there's a gap. Now this one, we used these Silphos rings and the Silphos is in here and it gets sucked this way. But as you can see, there was a gap here. But when we cut it open, you could see that the Silphos soaked in all the way around this joint but it left a little gap here. So that's the only downside with using a swaging tool. So if you're gonna use these, I highly recommend using a fitting. If you need to go straight, just get a straight uh, coupler fitting and that will ensure that there's no gaps or anything. Now, using these are extremely easy. All you do is take the right size um, ring, you slide it down into the fitting, push it all the way in, and then we take our male end and we just feed it until it's all the way fed in and that's it. We are ready to braise um, this fitting. Now, obviously in the field, I recommend um, doing a nitrogen flow and we're going to be using um, our turbo torch, oxyacetylene turbo torch. Now, unfortunately, you can't use map gas with this. Um, you can only use map gas with Stay Bright 8. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out in our library. These will take about 1200 degrees before this Silphos will melt into this joint. So let's go ahead and put this in our vise and we'll show you up close how easy it is to braise with these rings. And it's literally as easy as that. Look how beautiful that joint is. Once this cools off, we'll clean it off and show it to you up close. And there you have it. Look how beautiful. That's obviously without a nitrogen flow, otherwise it'd be even nicer. But you can clearly see that it has fully penetrated this fitting and uh, really nice, really easy to use. So let's go ahead and hop over to our 3 8 Now our 3 8 is a little bit more forgiving. Um, when you're using a swaging tool, you get a really nice close um, joint like this, but when you're using a swaging tool for like three quarters and higher size piping, you'll end up with a gap that could cause issues. But for this particular application, this 3 8 pipe, we, we used a swaging 
a bit and I think we'll have zero problems with it. So I believe our ring is already in here, yeah? So we're just gonna feed that in and we're gonna get this heated up. Easy as that. I'll get this one cleaned up and we'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, beautiful joint all the way around. A really nice joint and so easy to use. Well guys, I am really impressed with the Silfos 15 rings. I think they're a fantastic idea. I'll probably keep these on my truck um, and use them from time to time, but specifically for a DIYer or a homeowner, who wants to do some brazing but doesn't have the technique down, it does take some technique with using your right hand and your left hand simultaneously. And this really takes out the skill of it. Um, as long as you have a fitting, that's the main thing. If you use a swaging tool and you end up with a big gap, um, it could still seal, but you won't have it filled around on the end so you can actually verify that everything is sealed. So that's the only disadvantage. Um, so I just recommend always using a fitting if you're going to use these rings. If you don't want to do any brazing whatsoever or soldering, check out this video and I'm going to show you a really cool thing that will allow you to make your refrigerant connections without the use of any flame and any special tool. So check it out and until next time, you guys be safe. Later.